This caprice is one of my personal favorites. It reminds me of the pointillistic style often found in the music of Arnold Schoenberg. Again, we are required to be our own partner in a duet, thereby having to make an extreme effort to make the two voices sound different. We must switch our tones, articulations, and dynamics at a moment's notice, making sure to play these large intervals in tune. There is an errata in measure eight. The second note should be an A natural. The difficult low C in measures 25 through 28 can be more easily reached by tonguing farther back on the roof of your mouth as you would say dog and not stretching the corners back into a smile. Remember that low notes need more lip as in a frown, not a stretched upper lip that makes low notes sound airy and weak. Also, avoid what I call chewing, resetting the jaw when you tongue the accompanimental eighth notes that occur in almost every measure. Keep the jaw steady and relaxed, allowing the tongue to do its job and lead the airstream. If the jaw drops after every note, you will lose the setup for your tone and the tongue will inevitably feel heavy and slow. So lead with the tongue, follow it with the air, and then move your fingers, but don't move your jaw around too much. The tempo stays steadily in two. I don't take this caprice very fast because the words Cargaylert lists at the beginning have nothing to do with tempo. Rather, they have to do with style. He says, very light with grace and charm. How wonderful it is to be able to bring out two lines at the same time without having to rush through it.